Yo, yo, we're back again. It's a beautiful morning here. Beautiful Wednesday morning here. It's about time to uncover the boat. Let's go fishing. Oh no, just kidding. I gotta go to work. That's right. I still work a real job like everybody else. I wanna go fishing this morning, but we're off to work. Maybe we'll go fishing after work. A little after work bassin' trip. That's the plan. Let's go off to work. That's right guys, I'm off to work. I'm very blessed to have this opportunity. Uh, I worked for this company before I went. Started fishing professionally. And they've supported me the whole way. And they still allow me to work around my fishing schedule, which is amazing. I'm gonna go put in a few hours at work here today and uh, hopefully get out after work as long as the weather ain't too bad. Looks like a beautiful day. Rained overnight. It should be a beautiful afternoon. And we're gonna get down and have a little after work bassin challenge. I'm not real sure what I'm gonna do challenge wise yet but I got all day at work to think about it. And, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Stay tuned. It's all coming up next. All right, we're home for lunch break. Time to get some rods rigged up. Get this boat ready to roll. So as soon as I get out of work, run home, hitch up, get down to the river. I'm taking this challenge pretty seriously today, so we're getting rigged up. Gonna have everything ready to roll. Let's go. We're rigged and ready to go. Let's see, we got a spinner bait, swim bait, crank bait, buzz bait. On the spinning rod side, we got a pop bar, a little fluke, and a tube. There's the starting lineup. Let's get back to work, see if we can't find us some bass here this evening. Okay, so I'm not sure if you guys know this or not, but I work at Precision Copy Products, and it's a printer and copier dealer. So we sell and service mostly sharp copier machines. Um, and, you know, my position here is I'm in the shop, and I do a lot of the refurbs. So I'll take the used machines and go through and replace all the parts, make sure everything's good to go, and then we'll sell this machine as a used machine. So that's what allows me the freedom to come in and work whenever I want and then be able to go fish when I got a tour event. So pretty nice, very thankful to be working here, but I can't help think about these bass down on the river here tonight this day is starting to drag so i'm i'm ready to get after them and, and get down on the water tonight Just to catch a limit, five bass limit. 
five 12 inchers. And if I do that, I'll treat myself to a steak dinner tonight. A little extra motivation for myself. So, stay tuned. Let's see if we can do it. Let's go. Make sure the plug's in. Yep, plug's in. We're good. Let's go. We made it, boat's launched, it's go time. A couple minutes earlier than I expected. Although, not a fan of this wind. Kind of got breezy out of nowhere, so that makes it a little difficult to fish on this river here. We're on the Monongahela River in Elizabeth. This is my home pool, I live probably five minutes from here, so spent more time here than anywhere so let's see if we can't find five keepers here tonight we got the beautiful phoenix docked right there it's go time I figured I'd start in here, I can get these barges to kind of block the wind a little bit. Hoping that it's gonna die down here as the sun goes down. So I figured I'd start in here and kind of get blocked from the wind a little bit. See if we can't catch one out of this little discharge up here. First bite, it was a skippy though. There's one, oh, dang it. That was a keeper I just lost there. Golly. Could have been on my way, that was number one. Finally on the board, although he's little. Come on, buddy. Oh, there he is. Get in here. Is that number one? I think that might be number one.
She don't look like much, that's for sure. Boom, 12 incher, number one. Yeah, baby, four more to go. All right, guys, here's a little trick. You take this Trocar swim bait hook here. When you're fishing for small fish like I am here today, um, you know, I'd love to throw a horny toad, but these fish are way too small for a horny toad. It's just too much plastic. won't fit in their mouth. So you take this Trocar swim bait hook here and get yourself a Guggen crack and crawl in white. Take your crack and crawl. Put it on there like so. Now you got the same action as a horny toad, but a much smaller bait, a much smaller body. So it gives them a little less plastic to fit in their mouth and you'll be able to get a hook set in them. So give that a try, guys, when you're fishing for smaller fish. The Guggen Crack and Crawl. And you just keep it on top, just like you would a horny toad. See if we can't catch a couple on it. May not seem like much, but that's keeper number two right there. <clears throat> Little rascal bit my tails off. The old crack and crawl. I actually just bit the first segment off to make it a little bit smaller. Now he's gonna have even less bait. Maybe next time he won't rip my claws off, he's gonna get that trocar to the face. Ah, that's perfect. Nice little bait. Looked like a decent fish there. Ooh, there he was right there. Somebody's home right there. We got two keepers, squeakers, 12 inches. Pathetic, but we got two. 
after we fish this discharge here, I'm going to start running a bunch of my little one fish spots. Hopefully, find three more. Go get myself a nice steak dinner. You never pass up a discharge. Any river system. If there's a discharge, there's going to be bait and there's going to be bass around. There we go. Oh, I lost them. Dang it, that was a keeper. Alright guys, it's shoot, it's 705 already. I only got an hour left. I got two keepers. Problem I'm running into now is I got so many little spots I want to fish. I'm running out of time. I don't know if I should focus on those discharges where I got a couple bites or just keep running some new water. I don't know, this is tough in two and a half hours. Let me tell you. I got so many of these little spots where I, if I fished enough of them, I know I could get five keepers, but I'm not gonna have enough time. Man, there's so many little ones. It's good for the future, that's for sure. But where are the keepers? Where are the keepers? Oh. Golly, I missed him again. Anybody know why Braid always does this crap? I had him fired up in there. Now I have missed my opportunity. Golly. There it goes again. That dang braid. Always wraps around the tip when you miss a fish. It looked like a decent one there. Come on, baby. That one's not, that's a little one. Maybe he just looked big. Or maybe there's a couple of them in there.
Boom. Ow, 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 ow. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Boom, that's a big one. That's a 13-incher. Number three. Let's go, two more. Come on. He absolutely swallowed it. That's a good one for number four. There he is, number five. Another big one. Get up in here. Boom, there he is. There's number five, biggest one of the day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get a new bait. Put on the Guggen, rattle and Ned. Caught a couple keepers on it. Should have been throwing it earlier. That's on a bass cave tackle. Deadhead. Three sixteenths with a three odd hook. It's perfect for that rattling Ned. You can hear that thing rattling in there. Looks just like an old crayfish. Let's see if we can't get another one an upgrade. Look what one of those fish threw up. Nice, beautiful crawdad. He's got a good bit of orange in him. Kind of a green pumpkin, watermelon color. Nice. Little bit of orange on the tips of the claws. That's a nice sized crayfish. Oh, that's a beautiful end to the evening. Man, that was a lot of fun. I ended up getting five. Somehow, some way. Caught a decent amount of little ones. Um, lost a couple that, you know, looked like they might have been keepers. It's hard to tell when they jump off that far away, but. We got five in the boat somehow, so that means I win the challenge. Steak dinner time. Uh -uh -uh. Trying to think what's close, probably 
Probably gonna head to Texas Roadhouse. Treat myself to a steak. Yeah. Good the evening on the river. You know, I like these tough bodies of water. You know, this keeps me in check, you know, keeps my skills in check, keeps my brain active. You know, uh, it's good to do some training for these tough bodies of water. You know, I got a tournament in Maine coming up that's supposed to be pretty tough to get keepers, so I'm trying to keep in sync fishing these tough bodies of water to just keep my mindset right and know my confidence up and just know what I have to do to get those five fish in the boat some way somehow by the end of the day so see you in a little bit for dinner well we made it back home that was some good steak well worth it thanks for watching guys I appreciate it. It was fun trying to get five bass on my home pond here, home river, home pool on my river this evening. I had to pull a trick out of my sleeve there and get up to the dam. You know, I wouldn't be allowed to fish there in a tournament. Um, I don't know if you could see that big red sign there. It said keep back 200 feet from uh, the dam. So I was casting into that 200 feet and that's off limits in most tournaments. I don't know why Pennsylvania is so strict with that rule. I mean, that's where, that's where a lot of the fish are living right now in the summer. You know, that's the only place there's current, there's good oxygen up there at the dam. There's bait just rolling right to them. So that's where a lot of the fish are living. So that's why it's hard, super tough to catch fish, but it is what it is. You can go up there for fun fishing, catch a few fish, and uh, nobody bats an eye. So, thanks again for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button. I got more cool challenges coming like this. I'm going to head downtown Pittsburgh next, get a, a cool video in downtown Pittsburgh. So, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.